Hey guys, hi there, how are you? Well, today was the second day for Java 1 uh, 2017 here in San Francisco, California. And well, that's usually I've been doing the, these highlights on the end of the day. So today, uh, my first session today that, that I attended was uh, from Venkat Subramanian. Well, if you don't know Venkat Subramanian, I challenge you to please do it. Go online, go on Google, go on YouTube and search for Venkat Subramanian or Venkat Java and you will find Venkat. And why I'm telling you this because Venkat is one of the best speakers on the world. Uh, on our community, Java community, maybe it's the, the best one. And for for you get get a, a, a the the big picture of it, uh, we have the Java One Rock Stars. Okay, that that's the 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 best the best speakers from the best sessions in, in each edition of Java One. So uh, when we 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 give we, when we give it a session on Java One, the the attendees go and vote for each session. And the best voted sessions uh, earn uh, Java Java One Rockstar. So, if you have one Java One Rockstar, it's awesome because we have many good speakers, many awesome speakers, many good sessions. You know, Four hundred sessions on each each edition of Java One. So, if you have one Java One Rockstar, it's awesome. Okay, it's like you have an Oscar. And Venkat maybe have like 20 rock stars. On each edition of Java 1 that he, he, he went, he earned like 4, 5, 6 rock stars. So he's like a machine, a speaker machine. Okay, so uh, I believe that he, he has many, if not all, the, the, the skills that a good speaker uh, should have. He has a good speaking. Uh, he has uh, humor, he has a very deeply technical knowledge, knowledge. so he, he is the guy, <laughs> he's the guy, Vinkat Subramania. If you don't know him, go and find him online, okay? So uh, I attended his session about uh, functional programming using Java 8 and was, as usual, a great session. And in the end of the session, I have the opportunity to to meet him and to to to, to talk a little with him, and then Bruno Souza joined us for a, a nice conversation. And I was I was telling him that uh, he has uh, a, a great ability to to make uh, a difficult subject like functional programming to sounds like an easy thing to do. Uh, he he make it easy to you because he he guide you through the, the 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 path of getting the knowledge and get used it to to, to that technology so you can uh, real feel comfortable okay if you are doing a functional programming that's not quite easy okay so wow what well, was amazing it was amazing to to attend his talk it was amazing to to talk him to, to him because he's a great guy, very humble, very willing to help others to, to share knowledge. So, well, go, well was, a, was a great opportunity to, to attend his session and to talk to him after. Okay, so this was the morning. On the afternoon, we have the, the Java One keynote, the, for the Java keynote at Java One. Uh, was very people have many expectations related to this keynote because we have a lot of uh, news on the uh, couple couple of weeks few weeks uh, i believe that in, in the last two or three weeks we had more news than the the last years two or three years uh, on the java java world yeah so uh, i have some notes here so i don't miss anything so first we had the the Intel keynote uh, inside the, the Java keynote. Uh, as Intel uh, being a sponsor, 
many times we 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 believe that it would be a like a, just a marketing or selling products thing stuff or whatever but uh, they, they they showed some some good content on that keynote uh, for example and they 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 showed the persistent collections for java is a new p for persistence uh, quite different, uh, like a little more advanced than the regular persistence of APIs that we are used to. Was a very good one. I believe that we should we should take a look at, on it. So, okay, so try and find the persistent collections for Java from Intel. Okay, so then we move to 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 Java, really Java role, the Java community, and Java subjects. And starting by the the opening up for Java E, and wow, the name is really E for J Eclipse Enterprise for Java, and some people are complaining about the name and should be this, should be that, and whatever. Wow, let let let, let me tell you, the name needs to have Eclipse, okay, because it's an Eclipse project. The, cli the name needs to have enterprise because it's an enterprise a, a, subset, a set of uh, APIs for enterprise solutions, applications and whatever okay so it should have Eclipse Enterprise in the name and it needs to have Java in the name because it's a Java <laughs> a, a set of APIs but to have Java on the name it should have for Java because um, trademark trademark uh, trademark from from Oracle. Okay, so Eclipse Enterprise for Java. Okay, so guys, come on, uh, we we don't need you to spend too much effort on the name. Okay, the name is important, but I believe the name is it's okay. So we 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 should now focus on the. The, the transferring from Oracle to, to Eclipse, all the process uh, and all the, the things that are involved to, to, to this, this particular case, okay? So, then E for J, okay? And then they talk about an uh, interesting thing that Oracle is now investing on Kubernetes, in, particularly in Java be integrated to Kubernetes. I believe this is great because Kubernetes, is, I believe, this is the best container solution that we have today. Uh, it, it is open source, and in particular case of Oracle, they already have uh, Kubernetes on Oracle Cloud, so they are really, really interested on Kubernetes. So I believe that it will be very, very, very cool to have uh, more invest on, on Kubernetes. And then Oracle showed another news that uh, I was thinking by, by getting in surprise uh, about this and I, I, I believe that that moment that well I'm not well well informed uh, well I'm, I lost something but but I talked to, to other guys that still also uh, didn't did know about it there is a project called the FN project it's a serverless platform from Oracle and the, 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 the cool thing in that is that Oracle open sourced the project in the stage okay, they, they went to, to, to GitHub and make it public and, and signed the, the password and the project now it's open sourced so if you are interested on serverless solutions, you could check it out. It's a FN project, okay, on GitHub. And together with the, 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 the FN project, they will they announced the FDK, that is Java Functions Developer Kit, for support the, the FN project. Okay, so take a look. It's very 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 interesting. And then we are, they now, they move to, to Java itself and talk a little about the new cadence for Java releases, what they are calling the, the release, release train. 
that is Java will have a new version on each six months. Okay, so the next version will be on uh, 2018 on March, so 18.3, okay, the year and the month. And then we we'll, we're gonna have an 18.9, okay, so year 18 and September, and so then so on. Okay, so on each six months, we're gonna have a new version for Java. Uh, is this cool because we we will be able to have more new features being delivered in a in a shorter time, and on the other side, if we have a new feature that is still not good to be on the next next version, if you're gonna wait for I don't know six months, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we can wait. We we waited for years for. Uh, a new version of Java, so I believe it, it will really be interesting and will work very well. Okay, so and and then another another cool cool announcement is that now Oracle JDK and Open JDK and they will be just one stuff because Oracle is opening the also the Oracle JDK. Okay, so. We sh in, in some moment we will not need the to 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 be worried about difference between OpenJDK and Oracle JDK because they will be just one product one one project. Okay, so that was the the Java keynote. Very funny, very interesting, very news, very good news. And uh, I saw on Twitter many people. Uh, saying that this was one of the best keynotes that we we had on the last years. Okay, so what's very 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 good, very good. And then uh, at the end of the the keynote, we should ha still have like two slots for for sessions, and I attended a session from both Brazilians guys, Elias Nogueira and Bruno Souza. Uh, Elias is one of the authorities about testing in Brazil. Bruno Souza, you guys all know him, and they talk a little about a little no no a, a lot about testing. Very cool session, very 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 deeply deep content for for testing, and and they showed uh, some kind of tool, some process that you should should attend to to have a good process for testing. Very good, I, I really, really like it. And then at the end of the sessions, we all went to the JCP Awards party. It was close to, to, to Moscone Center. When, uh, like two or three months ago, they announced the people that were running for each each categories, uh, and then today they announced the the, the winners and here my my notes. <laughs> so as a participant of the year, the winner was Otavio Santana from Brazil. Otavio uh, has contributed a lot with many GSRs to the the whole Java community and ecosystem. So it was a very a very worthy. Uh, prize for Otavio, and then uh, outstanding outstanding spec lead of the year for Antoine Sabodohan uh, is leading the the CDI spec. Then we had the most significant JSR of the year for MVC, so Ivar Grinstad uh, won the the prize, and the last category for Outstanding Adopt GSR Participant of the Year for Marching Verberg at the, from the JUG, uh, London, London JUG, okay. So these guys all, all then really deserve the, the, the prize and they contributed a lot with, with the community, with the technology. And in the same, 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 same event, we uh, we were supposed to have the Duke, Duke Choice Awards 
uh, they started doing uh, two or three they, they, they also gave they gave the two or three prizes but we have technical problems and the, the microphone wasn't working and they, they need to to stop but I believe that in, in the last the next hours or days they will will make some announcement all the guys already know that, that they they won the prize so we are okay and and the party was very very nice a very good opportunity to to know some people that maybe you you just talk on Twitter or Facebook or whatever so we, we could met face to face and, and give some nice conversations and that's it for today okay so the, the event will keep going until Friday until Thursday and at the end of the each day I will be back here and talk a little about uh, talk a little to you about the event and give you some some news some highlights okay so bye bye see you